Welcome back to TV3 New Day and a lot has happened in this year with regards to show business. You know that this is our peak season, a lot of shows back to back. You've heard some of them from Manifestivities to Samini Fest to Rappaholic to The Night of 10, 26 Laughs and Music uh, to what is happening to the Dirty Rave. A lot of things will be happening in this season through to the new year. But we want to review some of the shows that we've seen so far. There's been a lot of conversation about some of them. Some of them, people expected a lot from these uh, organizers. They didn't meet the expectations. Some of them have also done really well. So we are reviewing shows. And of course, um, I guess we get to tell me uh, some of the highlights of the year 2019 when it comes to showbiz. And also we get to speak on who we think has become the biggest artist in the year 2019. Remember that Shatawa featured Beyonce in the same year with already uh, Major Lazer. Big news for us. And also another big news for us is the fact that finally two arch rivals, Samini Shatawali, decided to come together on a joint title celebration. Some people say, and yet this are, but we don't know. We get to talk about that and many more. So joining me here in studio is the man uh, who has two parts. A part of him is in aviation, but another part of him is what we are concentrating on today. Uh, he's a showbiz uh, pundit, Anod Asamwa Beidu. He's a writer, he's a columnist on graphic showbiz as well, uh, and he's a bogger. <laughs> How are you doing? Good. Miss Compliments G. of the season. Uh, same to you, my dear. All right, so let's start yeah. with uh, what you've made of the season. It looks like this year alone, we've had back-to-back -back shows from almost every artist that matters in this country. Well, it's been, it's been an eventful year. I mean, um, like you said, the climax of the year is in, in December. And that's where a lot of artists get to do their self-produced shows. And it's good. I mean, if you're an artist, it, it test, it's, an, it's a testament of your pedigree. Uh, your ability to actually host your own show, mm -hmm. produce your own show. And, and for me, I think the artists have done well. Uh, the likes of Medical. And Bisake there yeah. got into the free. Yes. Uh, welcome to Soul Exactly. I mean, um, there was... Um, yeah. But what's the name? Uh, Joey B's, Joey B's uh, concert, concert Daryl well. and Friends. Daryl yeah. and Friends. Mm. And so it, 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 it gives them some, some room to also grow. Because over the period, they always depend on event organizers to do these shows for them. And so when you are, you are given the opportunity to do your own show, now you get to know how to interact with, with vendors, um, to, with service providers and all. And it also gives you the opportunity to test your fan base. Because if you do your own show, I mean, if nobody comes, at least the fan base, the core fan base, the, the, the dedicated fan base will show up. So if you're an artist, it, it really gives you that room to actually uh, define who the fan base is and how, how big or small it is. But there's a lot of people complain that it's the same artists who go around all these shows. So yeah. uh, for Daryl and Friends has some of the people that will go to Welcome to Soul Tomb, yeah. some of the people that will go to Bisa yeah. Fest and all that. So it becomes boring. There's nothing new that you're expecting when you go to the next show. Well, th those people have, have genuine concern. But me, what I pick up from, from, from these um, phenomenon is, is the unity that these art artists exhibit. I mean, clearly, I mean, if, if you go to, to a medical show, you see these artists, you see the level of camaraderie, the unity that they exhibit. They move from their show to Sako, their show to uh, a Shatawale show. It's, it's, we, should, we should derive the positive from it, the fact that these guys are united and are ready to help each other. I mean, that's, that's, that's positive. I mean, if you're, if, you're, if, you're, if you're a patron, you should expect these. I mean, that's where, when you go for, for a medical show, it's the same Christiata that would come, the same songs, you know. Um, the same songs that you go, when you go to a medical show, you find. It's up to you to know that, listen, I'm going to have fun, I'm going to dance, and all that stuff. And it's also good for the artists, for, for, for them to actually vary their performance. I remember a couple of years ago when Castro was, was in his speak, it was all over the place, and I had to call him and say, listen, the same actor that you are putting in on all the shows, you need to vary it. So it's for the artists to actually vary their performances. But in regards to they be appearing on a lot of platforms, it's good for them. Well, uh, first of all, let's see uh, what happened at Samini Fest. That's a Samini's annual concert. This time around, he decided to take it to his roots, Dan Suman. And my colleague, Ousu Arai, was there. He filed this report. When we're back, we'll look at some of the people who had the concert earlier in the year, like uh, Shatawali did his earlier in the year. Look like this season is cluttered. Would we want them to spread it across the year? Let's see Samini Fest. We're back. When it comes to live performance, reggae dancehall icon Samini is in a league of his own. Fans love him for how he rocks. Any moment and on any platform, you're gonna love his style. Dubbed the Year of Return Edition 
The 2019 Samini Fest presented the Ragadada and Dreadlock Rasta with a fine opportunity to entertain music lovers. The thick crowd of music enthusiasts could not help but jam and sing along to Samini's irresistible classics. <laughs> Samini killed two bears with one stone. He turned a year older on December 22. MP for the Ablikuma West constituency, Ersle Uswe Kufu, eulogized Samini for impacting positively with his music. Afro Root singer and 2015 Grammy Awards nominee Rocky Dawoodi was on hand to support the show. <laughs> Prince Bright of Bookback fame sees a moment to whet the appetite of fans with some classics. <laughs> Uh, and so that was some mini fairs, but that concert was without hitches. Now, uh, the music group uh, Keche mounted the stage. We don't know what happened, but here was the reaction that we saw on social media. We are very sorry. We brought our manager here, our wives here, and they are being disrespected down there. We are sorry, here. Yeah? And that demeanor by the group Keche took a lot of shine from uh, Samini Fez, says a lot of people. Let's find out what Arnold makes of Samini Fez, the fact that he went to Dansama for the first time. We've always had it somewhere around yeah. the line, all that. Yeah. And what do you make of the initiative to go to Dansama? I mean, at this stage, if you're an artist and you check your, your, your level of relevance and the popularity of your show, you, you get to go to your comfort zone. And for me, I think Samini did the right thing. And especially you even mentioned about the clutter of shows. And so you need to go to a place that, that the show would be accepted. And for me, I think he did the right thing by taking it to Dansuma. The highlight was actually seeing the MP, Madame Esla, actually making an appearance. That's good. I mean, it tells you that these people, over the period, you and I have been talking about the fact that entertainment is, is a niche, and these guys are always into it. So it's, it's good for her to actually exhibit her fondness for, for the craft. Uh, it should go beyond that. I mean, they should actually give us the policies, the, the laws and the directives to actually ensure that this thing goes to, to a higher ground. And, and the, the, the issue yeah. with Keche, uh, you think that they overreacted? <laughs> of course, Miji. I mean, who, who, who drops a mic in 2019 going to 2020? I mean, that's silly. I mean, that's childish. Because see, seriously, eh? some of these gadgets are very, very, very expensive. That's true. Very, very expensive. I mean, to have a, to a cordless mic, Go ask the price. And so it is childish for an artist to actually have an issue backstage. Come on stage and, 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 and rant and, and proceed to drop a microphone. People are asking, who was you actually ranting to? Uh, to? To the audience or to whoever had offended you? If you have a, if an issue at backstage, you solve it backstage. So before you come on stage, it might have been done. And so you come and perform. We came, you, you bought tickets to actually see you perform. We didn't see, come, buy tickets to come well, and see you. Well, this is a free concert, so... Uh... So regardless... I mean, I, I mean, I've expended my time, resources, and energy to actually come to the ground to see you perform. And so, especially when the issue transpired backstage, make sure you solve it backstage. Don't come on, on, on stage and rant and drop a microphone. I mean, Whiskey did that a couple of years ago. I mean, a lot of people did not hear it. Uh, Ghana, Music, Ghana Music, Awards. Music Awards, that's he true. He dropped the mic. And, and Sami Helwani actually almost slapped him hmm. because the microphone was that very, is, very yeah, expensive. Products, yeah. Exactly. And so, if you have an issue, 
so we like a, like an adult. I mean, for me, I think that's that's uh, but what, very important. But for a lot of people, the, yeah. the the major thing was the manager's demeanor as well. So the artist is Rob the microphone. Who is the manager? The wife. The of, wife of, the... of uh, Ketchy Andrew. Why do you behave like you don't know the manager of the group? I, mean, I thought George Richardson was a manager. So I, I mean, you are telling me the bankroller actually is uh, the bankroller is not the manager. Well, so let's define it. She is the bankroller. She is the financier. well. That's what they say. Say we brought our managers and our wives. So uh, exactly. So at least they have. But for me, told I, I mean, I think if you have a finance. Clearly, she, she has little knowledge of, of the craft and the business. But she said it's an issue of life and that somebody was bleeding and she needed to take her teeth to assist them to take that person to the hospital. No problem. So, so, so if you have an issue, that's, that's it's life and death. Walk out of the show. Just if you're unable to resolve it, go into your car and drive off. <laughs> Don't come and tell us and drop microphone. I mean, for me, I think that for, for the financier of the bank will have to even spearhead this. That's, that's, that's unfortunate. And I think they should, they should learn from this. It's, it's, it's very infantile. Very infantile, he yeah. says. Uh, unacceptable. And then uh, the, clatter, the clattering of shows. Uh, at, at least uh, yeah. somebody says that Shatawale has taken a respite. He had a show <laughs> earlier in the year in October. We did the rain concert. Uh, so there was a need for him to rest. Do you think that a lot of people now in December, back to back, you know, have too many shows and it's cluttered? I, I, it's, it's normal. I mean, if you follow the, the scene for quite a long time, in the last decade, the, the clutter is always in December. These are the holidays, and so a lot of people are home. Some are coming from from from, from overseas and mm -hmm. stuff like that. Actually, so, this year of return exactly. as well. So it only makes sense to, to, to fix your show within the spirit. And with regards to Shatawala, he's been performing. He's been going outside the crowd. He's not like he's resting. He's no, but he's done his show, so yeah, he's that, just looking at you. <laughs> if yours goes well, fine. If it doesn't he's, go he's well, he's performing. He, I mean, all the all the. A-list stars have really they've all been very active this period. Every artist. But is what what are you what do you yeah. advocate for that we should leave it as this or we should be this active all through the year? Because it looks like we go to sleep and then I, I when it's close to the end of the I year, people think, begin to. I mean, wake we should up. we should appreciate the fact that December is is, is a holiday, is a festive season. Like I said, a lot of people are on holidays. We, a lot of workers are on break. This is the time that people, event organizers, even the artists themselves, get to fix shows. And you also mentioned year of return. And so it is normal. We need to appreciate the fact, that fact. Regardless, I mean, you, you and I know that there are a lot of shows that, that are splattered along the year. But December is the in thing now. I mean, if I'm an event organizer, clearly I would want to fix at least one show in December. So we should allow. Well, another exciting thing for a lot of people is what happened yesterday at the airport. Uh, American rapper Rick Ross is in Ghana for Dirty Rave, a concert. Oh, okay, so he says we didn't call it a concert. He says it's, it's, a, it's, it's a rave organized yeah. by uh, Nigeria's Mr. Easy. We've claimed him for ourselves since he attended school here. And he was at the airport. Beautiful enough, one of our budding rappers showed up to rap to him. And he was impressed. He took out his phone. I saw him videoing him. But let's see what happened at the airport when Rick Ross arrived. Well, that's what happened at the airport. Unfortunately, we couldn't show you CJ Biggerman uh, rapping to Rick Ross. It was beautiful. I'm sure you've yeah, seen the video. Yeah, 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 and people yeah. are saying, oh, this is what we wanted to achieve when Cardi B also came to Ghana. You know, I don't know. But this has been successful, especially for the young man who will be rapping tomorrow or today alongside, yeah, tonight, uh, yeah, tonight alongside um, Rick Ross. Yeah, big ups to Mr. Easy. I mean, this is a uh, concert or experience. Uh, he could have taken it anyway. I mean, Easy is, is, is well known, popular across the African continent, um, especially to, with his Empower project. Mm -hmm. Easy is, is well known across Africa. And so he could have taken this project or this experience or concert to anywhere in the world or in Africa. But he chose to bring it to Ghana for the third edition. I mean, you mentioned the fact that he went to school here. He had this breakthrough here in yeah. Ghana. And so there's, there's some level of affinity to this country. And so for him to actually hold this concert or experience for the third edition or the third year in running, big ups to him. With regards to CJ Biggerman, I mean, CJ Biggerman is, is not an upcoming artist. I mean, he's, he's, a, he's almost a mainstream artist. Mm -hmm. I mean, this guy featured on Sarko DSBB by and all that stuff. He's, he's mounted a lot of good platforms. But for him to take this opportunity, that's good for him. Um, the other good point is for Rick Rocks to actually recognize. Because you could do it and the artist could, could ignore you. Can't be bothered. Exactly, can't be bothered. But for a request to actually recognize, like, like you said, pick his phone, snap it, put it on Snapchat or Instagram, that's, that's a big deal. 
Now, the bigger deal is for him to actually mount and share the stage of the cross tonight. Mm -hmm. And that's what we are all looking for. We hope that nobody will put any impediment on the way and all that stuff. PhD so, people. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So, bigger man, bigger man did well. I mean, he, 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 he saw the opportunity. He took it. And thankfully, it was recognized. Let's see how it pans out tonight, whether he gets opportunity to actually share the stage with Rick Ross. is a big guy. Yeah, he is. He's huge. Mm -hmm. I mean, this guy This guy is a businessman. He's a mogul. He owns a record label. He signed a lot of artists. I mean, he's one of the richest hip-hop artists in America and all over the world. And so for him to, to give you that level of recognition, I think the TJ Bigger Man is in to win. Now also, let's talk about Rapper Holic. Everybody was waiting for the 25th of December to join Rapper Sarkod, yeah, celebrate his annual concert. Uh, you know, from the likes of Rude Boy from Nigeria, Stone Boy himself, uh, a lot of people joined Sarkodie. For people, it was the most successful rapperholic they've seen. Let's see excerpts of that. When we're back, I'll hear from Arnold. <laughs> So some of the complaints I've heard, let me tell you, uh, it was the late start of the show yeah. and also there was, the, I hear there was a break for 30 minutes, yeah. nothing was happening. Yeah. Were you right. there? I was not there, I, I, mm. I was following by, by stream. Okay. And I agree, I mean, but you see, and I agree with the people who are actually saying this is the best rapperholic in a, in a long time. With regards to organization, I mean, the complaints that you've heard, these are limited complaints. I mean, compared to what you heard last year. Last year was terrible. The issue about overcrowding. Mm -hmm. VIPs not getting the, 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 the seats that they actually bought paid for, for. Mm -hmm. or paid for. Um, um, complaints about people standing, people not seeing the stage and all that stuff. The complaint about Sarko there himself for getting his lyrics, you know, getting tired even in the second song of his performance and all that stuff. Last year was 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 a best man. This year was a better production, was a better produced concert. And you could actually see Sakode having a lot of fun on that stage. That's true. And the complaints, I mean, apart from what you are talking about, the fact that it lays that, I mean, that's 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 something that has is, is with us in regards to shows the list that yes we have to improve on the list that but that's that is that is less of what we heard last year and so for me i think i, I agree with the people who are actually saying this is the best rap holic they've seen a lot of times because you you had a least number of complaints regards to overcrowding ticketing related issues seating arrangements and all and again Sakode had fun you know he and did. the good thing is last year if you remember he was really on almost every artist platform performing before rap holic and so before his own show came he was tired this time around, he was, listen, I've learned my lesson. Let me just stay off. He was not in manifestivities. He was virtually nowhere until 25th. So he actually prepared and gave it his all. So for me, I think it was... It was so, so for this year, who has done yeah. it for you? Who, is, who would you say has been the biggest act for us this year? Um, it's a little bit contentious. Uh, first of all, you need to talk about Sarkodie. Mm -hmm. I mean, he has been, he's been the most active. Mm. Um, I heard people say that yeah. he's worked as an up-and-coming artist yes. this year. I mean, year. He, he's, he's been, he stayed hungry. I mean, and I agree with those people who are actually passing those those commentary. He's stayed hungry. He's actually worked like an up and coming artist. He's, he's worked like a new artist. However, in terms of recognition, I, I believe Shatawale had the biggest recognition by virtue of, of, of his collaboration with Beyonce. I mean, it's, it's unprecedented. I mean, the level of international appeal and recognition that he had. I do not think any artist in Ghana has garnered that yet. People are actually yeah. saying that with what work Sarkodie has mm. done this year, we shouldn't be surprised if he picks the artist of the year. No doubt. No doubt about it. However, uh, he's worked, but the likes of Chatawale and Stoneboy have also worked. And so if Chata House and the board, VGMO board, decide to present their Reinstate. decision, okay. then there okay. will be competition. However, if, forgotten if, about that. Of course, if they are still banned, then of course Sarkodie takes it. But what do you think? You think that do, do we should call them in? Definitely. I mean, how... how even when the ban came, you know, one of the things I talked about was it's, it's, it, 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 it makes little sense to have a VGMA and not have two of the most active stars in it. That, I mean, clearly. So for me, I think that, that decision will change going into early next year. These two guys will be reinstated into the awards.
Okay, so, so um, we here at uh, uh, Media General decided to have an all-white party, 3FM, uh, in collaboration with Dodi World, came together. We had an all-white party from last night, 9 p.m. last night, to 5 a.m. today. Let's see what you missed if you didn't join them. All right, so uh, that's what you missed at our all-white party. Do well to join us on the next edition. But quickly before you go, Arnold, uh, let's talk about Obi and Ponsa. He's done marvelously well when yeah. it comes to comedy. Yeah. But he had a hitch at D2R. I mean, first of all, let, let's, let's commend Obi. Um, did you see him yesterday? Yes, I did. Do you think that he was the one who carried the night? One of them. Mm, one of okay. the guys. And, and I would give it to him because of what he went through just just hours before before his set. But who carried the night for you? For me, I think Lexi did well as well. Yeah, yes, that's Lexi, true. Lexi was on, was on top of his game. The Nigerians, did they come to play? Um, Booby was, 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 was in his element. Basket mark was like a was lecture. A, was like a lecture. I mean, for me, at the point, I'm like, oh, come on. We are here to actually listen to jokes. Um, if we really want to go on the internet, it's easy for us to actually walk, go on the internet and, and, and do research. Uh, Apollo was quite disappointing. Sure. Uh, very, very disappointing. For me, I think the Ghanaians, except Jacinta, who was mm, a little bit, you know, the, I think all in all, the Ghanaians really did well. Lexi, Bovi, and Obi did it for me on the night. And you, what do you make of that joke that went bad? Do you think that it was... He, people said, look, he just said, Mahama is synonymous to corruption. He didn't say John Dramani Mahama. And no, this issue has come up before, especially you remember when comedian worries me there with a joke about this Tarkodias real, daughter. Yes, mm -hmm. and, and it got out of hand. And I made my stance that listen, when you're on a comedy, comedy stage or any, there's an event and it's branded as comedy, every material that is shared on that stage is supposed to be taken as a joke. It's if, if anybody, any grouping or, or, or sect have a problem with a material that is shared on a comedy stage, that that's, that person has a problem. Then it means you, you are not insightful of what's actually happening on in that on that platform however if the comedian goes outside that platform and shares opinions you know commentary sentiment that comedian can be taken on because at that particular time you're not being you're not on that comedy stage you are you are a personality who is sharing opinions on varied subjects and so anybody can take you on so i think that's what got a lot of people exactly you know yeah. um um, because worry, because got, if he got his platform, he yes, had done things yes. of the sort. So, anyway. Yes, I think that is what the comedians need to. The line must be, must be checked. If you're on the com comedy stage, that's a material you're producing as jokes. However, if you're on your, as a personality, you should be mindful of what you post on your social media handles. My guest in studio has been Anoda Samuel Bedu. Of course, we couldn't review the entirety of all the events that happened this year, but at least we've touched on some of the activities that happened in the latter stages of the year. Johnny is standing by, yeah. and I'm sure that definitely he has a, he has a question for you. <laughs> I, I know Johnny won't. Do, I, I, I'm thinking, I knew, I knew I'm, you I'm say thinking, something. I'm thinking, that yes, those people are being too hard yeah. on Obi and Ponta. Look, yeah. uh, he's a satirist, he's a humorist, yeah. and people should allow him. I mean, yeah, that's I don't true. know. We, we're, we're too politically tensed in this country, yeah. and, and we want to put everything on a political line. Yes. Yeah. We should chillax. <laughs> well, Johnny takes away. Thank you very much, Anna. That's what they do. He's a columnist for the graphic showbiz. He's a showbiz pandit. He's as a big well. man. He's a big, a big man. man. Yeah, He's an aviation yeah. personality as well. So. <laughs> okay, so.